where Duluth and Superior meet represents a key transportation hub in the Great Lakes region where all of the important pieces come together. We're talking about trains, trucks, uh, we're talking about people's commutes, uh, and we're talking about the, the ships and barges that get things to where they need to be. All of that comes together in this very specific place. The Blotnick Bridge, it's the icon and the symbol of both cities. This was a soaring piece of infrastructure that rose well above even the very tallest buildings in Duluth and Superior. I mean, 10,000 jobs rely on this bridge. It carries 33,000 cars a day, $4 billion of commerce annually. But it is at the end of its life. This is not a hope it doesn't close situation. It will close in 2030. For this bridge to close would be uh, an unbelievably disruptive event for the entire region, not just in some abstract technical sense, but in people's everyday lives. So originally I was playing volleyball at the university here in town and then I transferred to a tech school for welding my senior year. I was still playing some volleyball co-ed and I ended up playing with the apprentice coordinator for the Ironworkers Local 512 and he told me about all the great things that Ironworkers do and kind of just talked it up. Basically sold from there on out. Starting out right away, like outside of college, was awesome because it was already good wages and benefits starting off. You're constantly learning something every single day. It's, it's rewarding for sure. So the Blotnick Bridge is definitely a big deal in this area. The bridge supports trades workers, a lot of families, and is really important to the people who live here. Yeah, I did write a letter to uh, people to judge um, and uh, just expressed our support of a project that helps us connect our communities. I come across the bridge on a daily basis. I live in Duluth, I work in Superior, as do many of my uh, coworkers and suppliers. It's just super important for us as a community to have that bridge um, operable and safe for everyone. Dear Secretary Buttigieg, the initiatives within this grant application provides Northern Minnesota and Wisconsin a sense of productivity, culture, and connection. Thank you for your consideration for approval of this application. Sincerely, Tim Nelson, founder, owner, manager, Earthrider Brewing. This is why it matters. This is why we're in this. Please join me in welcoming the President of the United States, Joe Biden. Folks, I'm here today to talk about something that doesn't get enough attention. The progress we're making to invest in America and American workers and American products. To invest in America, that's what we're doing. Our customers are the railroad workers, the truckers, longshoremen in our area. We wouldn't be here without it. And I don't mean we, I mean we as a bigger picture thing. We would not be here if we didn't have the infrastructure in order to do our jobs on a daily basis. Knowing that I could be working on that bridge and that it's gonna last another 60 plus years maybe um, is super cool. Yeah, so well, this is the tech school right here. It was WITC when I went, but they just changed it to Northland College. Yeah, I think it'll be a really big project, one of our biggest projects in the Twin Ports. It'll be really cool to be a part of that. I'm, sure some guys will come out of retirement. It'll be kind of a big honor to work on that. It has famously been said that there's no such thing as a Democratic road or a Republican bridge. What you have are good projects that deserve to get done. For people that ask, why should I care about infrastructure? Those things that we don't think about, we don't see, matter when they don't exist. And when we deliver on them and deliver on them well, it builds trust. It builds trust not only in your community, but it builds trust between citizens and their government. 
we can't have the greatest country in the world if we don't invest in the things that bring this country together because it's the work we do together that makes us the greatest country in the world.